Good morning. Oh, look. <laughs> July uh, 10th. Non-dairy blueberry and stuff in the smoothie. Ah. Okay. Um, yesterday in Cedar Rapids, we met the neatest guy. He was dressed as a, a big old hayseed, as if he had just come from the pages of Samuel Clemens' Huck Finn. Probably about my age. He had a, a fake straw hat on and blue denim overalls. And it seems to me there was a red kerchief, but I'm unsure. And he had these little cards, and they said, Grant Wood. I was thinking, you know, the artist, Grant Wood. But that's W-O-O-D. This is W-O-U-L-D. And he gives tours. Seems to me he is a potter. I, if he was a potter, I'd love to take classes with him. Just to hear his draw. He said he's a New York boy. And he's been in Iowa several years with his partner. But I got the nicest hug. Gay man hug almost as nice as lesbians. <laughs> it was a great day. I was with my friend Penny. Do you know I have met the nicest people in Iowa and the food in the uh, pet area at Walmart and the uh, parking lot? A friend of mine in Florida is always insisting I go to Cedar Rapids. And meet other lesbians. I like gay men. Um, and since I'm just a big old queen, because I had grew up with musicals, and I would get a musical uh, a record, and I'd, I'd go to the office to clean my dad's office. He was a chiropractor in Wacon, Iowa. And I'd clean, and then I'd fake dust. Hated dusting. <laughs> and then I'd go to the, well, mom's office, because mom worked with dad. A few years, he had office girls from high school. Uh, but most of the time, mom did the office work. She always took care of the books at home and everything. And I would lay underneath the desk with the stereo on. And I'd memorize every word. It was half a sixpence and the music man and happiest millionaire. And, and I just love musicals. And the only, I want to be part of a, the gay community and I want to participate. I'm an entrepreneur and I sell books and I'm a poet. I have written since 1985. Um, I'm a journalist, a historian journalist. I write uh, things that are pertaining to my life a lot or of interest. Um, and so uh, a journal of mine would start from the back of the book and you move forward. I'm writing my very first Lizzie fiction. And uh, so I read a lot because the best way to learn is to to uh, work within your craft. But anyway, I would love to, to talk to this gentleman again. And I'm sure there are other ones out there. In Virginia, we, we had the Shenandoah Gay and Lesbian Association, and Bob Green started. He was one of the starters, and the and the fellow who had the um, art for Dodger. It was like a nineteen fifties uh, coffee shop. It was cool. Anyway, it was the nicest Saturday I've spent since the last Saturday I spent with my friend Penny. She's also a cat lover. And I just saw the Nina's uh, YouTube. And they're doing something they 
after you share, they flit away, and then you're on to the next video. I like to sh I like to share it, then go back and give a comment. Mm. And this one I saw was about um, about a cat is not just a cat. Cats make you better. Cats delight you, and there there's nothing like there's nothing. And the phrase "just a cat" is stupid. I have, I have friends that think a little of the fact that I have cats. Each one of them are different and diverse. Right now, there's only there's three in here. Teddy is over there, and Sophie is up there, and Chester is. They're all sleeping. So it's got to be about 10 in the morning. Because that's when everybody uh, takes a nap. <laughs> I wait out until about 1 because I've gotten up about 4. So I just want to say uh, hello out there to you who were carrying the signs that said Grant Wood. You made, you made my day. You were one of them anyway. Um, I loved the Wiccan shop in the building we were in, in Cherry Wood or G.J. Cherry. I have a TBI, so unless I have someone telling me in my ear, or if I have the card in my hand, then I, I know where I am. Um, thank you. Thank you for talking to me. Penny is a shopper. I'm more of the the uh, dyke with the purse. <laughs> Penny said something to me funny yesterday. She said, oh, you can get those purses that you sling over your shoulder. And I said, no, no, no. A purse holder is someone who's with the one doing the shopping. They're just standing. They're, their only purpose is to hold the purse. I love to shop, too, when I have money in my pocket. But. I, I'll go back to that story again. But um, neither one of us has knees that are fantastic. You have a blessed day. Thank you very much for coming into my office. And that's a cat tree in case you're curious. Use your imagination. It's the best part of you. That in your heart. I'll be the same. Blessings be with all of you. So will to speak.